What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Mega Man X4. So, what level are we going to do first? Well, it doesn't really matter a whole lot, but I mean, the, the biggest consideration when choosing your first level in Mega Man games is always, when you start off, you're pretty weak, and every boss you kill, you get a new weapon, and along the way you usually find upgrades and stuff. So what boss can you take out easiest uh, is usually the first place you start, since you have trouble taking out hard bosses without a bunch of upgrades. I am going to start with the jungle. And in the jungle we fight Web Spider. If you didn't know, the Mega Man X series, all of the bosses are named by having like a descriptor and then an animal type. So like, I don't know, like, Fire Monkey or Electric Elephant or something like that. So anyways, kill all these little flying fish and these little fish with spears. Drop down here. Mind the random slinky things. There's a little secret area over here, but we can't do anything there with with zero. Drop down here, kill this dude. Ah! Don't shoot me, bro. Stop spinning your pike. Oh my god. Stop spinning your freaking pike. This dude. Die, Slinky. Oh, yay. A, a log platforming section. Those are always fun. Wait for the next set. Okay, climb up the ladder, kill this guy from the ladder. Mind the slinkies. Don't think we can kill this guy from the ladder. Try not to get shot on your way up. Stupid freaking pike, stop spinning your pike. I don't even remember those guys being that annoying. I guess I'm just that weak. I need more power! And every level is divided, divided up into two areas. In this one we got spider webs to deal with. Imagine that, in a level for web spider. Basically, you have to destroy the spiders that shoot out to be able to pass the web. Find the snakes that drop down. No, not bees! Anything but bees! Kill the beehive. Die, bees! Okay, bees are dealt with. More slinkies! No one uses ladders. No! Ah, stupid spider web. Get over here, stupid spider. Find the snakes. There's this little thing here that you can hit that but you can't actually destroy. 
we'll be back here later for... Well, not that, but... Something just like it. I'm thinking this one here, specifically. Okay. Ah, usually that one... It shoots its little web downwards when you're jumping up. Get over here, you stupid spider. Okay. And yeah, they say stupid little phrases when your health gets down to yellow. Hopefully I should be able to remedy that in the near future, though. Getting a full health up tends to have that effect, though, so... Okay. And, of course, anyone who's played a Mega Man game knows that this means it's boss time, when you've got a door leading to a tunnel with another door. What's up? Ah, Zero, I've been expecting you. Okay then. Now this guy isn't too hard, but his attacks can do a lot of damage. Namely that little web thing. Basically to dodge it you just have to like, dash and then jump off the wall. And if you time it right, there's usually enough time to hit him twice every time he comes down. Definitely don't want to get caught in that web. Like that. See, that did like a quarter of my health. This is not going well. Get sloppy. At uh, half his health, he comes down and creates like a little spider web. Now here he has a very specific pattern. First he'll shoot out little spiders. And then he will shoot uh, two spider webs. And then he'll shoot out mini spiders again. Come on! Come on! One more shot! Yeah! Oh, that was close. So, yeah, he's he's easy. I almost died, but I got him. As long as you're not, you know, super sloppy, then he's not too hard. Oh, really? Basically, it, that attack just makes you stab with like a lightning sword thing. And I probably got enough time for another level, so let's go to the bio laboratory. Here we face a split mushroom. split mushroom. I don't know what kind of descriptor split is. Oh this level, part of the level, is annoying. A little rotating staircase. Stupid flying things. Ah! Get out of here! Okay. Actually, I think this level is uh, an exception to the rule. I think there's more than two areas to this stage. Well, I think there's two areas and then a staircase in between each one. That sounds right. Mind this jump here. You want to slide down the wall so you can actually make it through there. Oh, okay, so I guess I was wrong already. Kill the little things on the wall. There's two paths to go here. It doesn't really matter which one you take. Here. Mind the bullets and the little floaty things. Ooh, 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 
die, floaty things. And probably don't want to get stabbed by those things. Like that. Well, at least it's not instant death. Yay, health! I like health. Okay. There's a mini boss up here. Basically, this guy will take out one platform at a time. So you have to try and manipulate which one he takes out, since he always goes for the one that you're standing on. Once he puts the spikes out, he jumps up. And we use our new attack, the Raijin Geki, to take out like a third of his health. You can uh, have him go for the top platforms too, but it doesn't make a whole lot of sense with Zero since he has a shift sword, which is a short range. Okay, another stairway. This one can be really annoying. There's a simple trick to it. Just jump and attack non-stop, and you should be able to deal with everything this place has to throw at you. Not the best example, but I've been able to take zero hits doing that in the past. Okay. This part can be tricky, but you can see there's a little heart up there, and we want to get that. Okay. Jump on here. No, I screwed that up. I need the heart! Okay. Jump up. Jump up. No! Stupid. Stupid, 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 stupid. Come on. Oh my god! Okay, we got it this time. Yay! That increases our health a uh, maximum a little bit. In this area, basically just want to dash and jump through the whole thing. And be careful not to get, like, squished by a falling platform. Mind the little spiky worm things jutting out of the elevator? <laughs> Luckily the spikes don't actually kill you. And you can uh, destroy those little bullet things with your saber. Mind you don't get squished between the elevator and these little things. This guy doesn't have like a little eye, so you can't actually attack him. But you can attack these ones. Okay. And we're at the boss. Only got one shot at this, so let's make it count. Time to duel! Okay, so he's gonna sit on the wall and spawn a bunch of little clones. You can hit him up there if you're careful. He throws the clones at you and basically you just jump over every other one. And we want to use the Raijin Geki on him. But only one of them is real. So you have to kind of try and judge the timing to since there's a delay on Raijin Geki. Okay. Hit him while he's up there. Oh. Ah. I should jump over to the other side. Got him. The hardest part there is when he's got the two clones running around, because if you don't get the timing right, they can just jump all over the place and be really hard to hit, and they'll walk into you. And usually, touching the boss straight up is usually the biggest source of damage in any fight. 
Yay, Kuen Boo! Anyways, that's about enough for today on Let's Play Mega Man X4. Catch you later.